Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to show you how to add anchor points on a website so you can navigate through it a lot more smoother. So let's say that you had this website and you wanted to take the user over to the desktop page. Well, an anchor point is going to let us navigate to that page nice and smooth. So that's what we're going to learn in this tutorial. We're not actually going to create this particular website. We're going to build another one that is a lot simpler so you can learn how all of this works and you can implement it on your websites. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, let's get started. Like I said earlier, we're gonna build a very simple website so you can see how this works. So we're gonna start off with a main tag and we're gonna add a header tag inside. Let's give that an ID of header. This is also going to act as the navigation. So let's add that in there and let's actually create a nav bar with three links in here. So this is going to be our homepage. This is the about page and the contact page. All right, now we're going to create a section for each one of these links. So this is going to be the home section. Let's copy this twice. This is the about section. And the contact section. All right, so this is the blueprint that you want to follow. Just create a section for each one of these links. Now, when you click on them, it's going to navigate over to that section of the website. And right now, if we click on these, of course, they don't work because none of these sections have enough height for it to scroll down to. So let's use CSS to give these some height. First, we're going to remove the padding and the margin from all of the elements. For the body, we're going to use Overflow X Hidden. And for the main section, we're going to add a width of 1280 pixels. And we're going to use Margin Auto. For the header, let's give it a width of 100%. And let's give it a height of 70 pixels. And let's also add a border so we can see it. And we're going to add the same features for the home, about, and contact page. So we're going to use a width of 100%. Let's give them all a height of 720 pixels. And it's also at a border. All right, so now you can actually see our three sections. So now when I click on this anchor point, it's going to actually take me over to that section of the page. But it didn't do it smoothly. It just took me to that section of the page, which is fine if that's how you want it. But if you want it to look nice and smooth, then I'm going to show you how to do it with JavaScript. All right, the first thing we're going to do is get access to these three anchor points. To do this, we're going to use Query Selector All. And we're going to select all of the anchor points. And we're also going to store them inside of an array. The reason that we start them in an array is so we can add an event listener to all of them all at the same time. So since they're in an array, we can use the for each function. And we can access each one of the elements individually and add an event listener. So that's what we're going to do here. So this is going to be activated on click. And, and here we have to include prevent default. And I'll show you why we have to include that in a moment. Now let's select each one of the anchor points individually 
using query selector. We're going to use this get attribute. Let's type in href. And we're going to use scroll into view. And we're going to change the behavior to smooth. All right, so now when we click on this, it's going to take us over to that section, nice and smooth. All right, let me comment this out so you can see what it does without this. So if I click on one of the anchors, it takes me to the section of the page, but it does so like if we didn't have this code. This is basically what it was doing before we added this. So that's why we need this. This prevents the default, which is to basically just take you over to that section without taking you to the section smoothly. All right, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.